Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest two-way propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about why Nassau County Sheriffs want your pee. As you are likely aware, the recent Bruin decision absolutely slayed discriminatory gun control laws all over the country, leaving authoritarians scrambling to find other ways to deny people their basic human right to be armed. More unjust laws were repealed in the last three months than in six decades prior to the Heller decision. The Bruin decision meant sheriffs in Nassau County, New York could no longer expect to collect bribes from people with sufficient moral character. So like a petulant child stamping their foot, they'll grudgingly approve permits so long as people go through a painful and expensive process. You can start by writing out a statement reiterating all the answers you already gave in the application are true, then you can have each of those separate statements notarized. And they're going to want all the contact info for any adult living with you and every social media account you've ever held in the last five years. Oh, and you'll need to pass a 12-panel drug test. All at your own expense, by the way. They'll even want you to submit a notarized affidavit saying whether you attended a school for a disability. Boy, that's low. Is this obviously unconstitutional? Of course it is. Will it fail in court? You bet your ass it will. But in the meantime, this sheriff department will continue to use the violence of the state to enforce unconstitutional laws. If you think LE agencies should be safeguarding the rights of the people instead of trampling them, you can tell them so at 516-573-7559. Just don't go mailing them jars of pee, okay? And I, I don't mean that in some wink wink chairs against the wall kind of way either. Literally, like, don't do it. I'm pretty sure cops hate that and you'll get arrested and I'll get fired. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. I promise we'll move on from New York, but they're such a good example of what not to do. Be careful out there, folks. This photo was circulating around Facebook, appearing like an official announcement from the state advising pistol license holders they could now carry concealed. In New York, they have to ask the state for permission to own a pistol and then go and get separate, much more difficult to obtain permission to carry the gun. Uh, that is still the case, and you will be arrested for carrying without the pleasure of the crown. Everything else on this flyer was false as well, so be on the lookout for similar disinformation in your own AO. I'm also curious whether you think this was posted by a control freak hoping to hem up gun owners or by a gun rights activist hoping to drum up some court cases. Or maybe just an apolitical, awful human being. Comment below. This Marine Corps veteran is Lloyd Muldrow. He lives in Virginia, where he has a state-issued carry permit. When he visited a friend at a bar in Baltimore, right as he walked in, he found the friend being pistol-whipped by a man who said he would kill everyone. Muldrow subdued the attacker, but when police arrived, they arrested him for carrying a firearm, even though he didn't use it in the scuffle. Of course, Everything is illegal in Baltimore, and not even the Bruin decision makes a Virginia permit valid in Maryland. The full faith and credit clause of the U.S. Constitution does so far as I'm concerned, but nobody asked me. Did Muldrow violate the Maryland law? Sure, but the law is stupid and unjust. It should be perfectly legal to carry without a permit, and at the very least, his permit should be valid in Maryland. And I hate to say it, but you gotta wonder if a white guy would have been treated the same. All gun control has racist roots, and to this day, it continues to disproportionately harm minorities and the poor. Muldrow has a jury trial scheduled for Halloween, and I hope he fights the charge on the merits of the law. The good news is, it's only a misdemeanor with a max fine of $1,000 and one year in jail, but any weapon conviction could endanger his Virginia permit. If you want to help Lloyd fight this injustice, there's a link to his Give, Send, Go campaign down there in the doobly-doo. Rob Bonta is Attorney General for the state of California, but he and 14 other state AGs filed an amicus brief in a suit against the District of Columbia's ban on guns on public transportation because the ruling there could influence court cases in his home state. 
or yours for that matter. It's common for cities and states to ban guns on buses nowadays, but as we reported last week, it was common for 1884 lads and lasses to stay strapped even on a horse-drawn omnibus, so a ban would have difficulty meeting that whole history and tradition standard set by Bruin. Nevertheless, Bonta argues in his brief that the Second Amendment allows states to ban guns on public transportation because of entirely unrelated court cases regarding states' rights but having no relation whatsoever to enumerated rights of the people. I don't know, maybe, maybe he's hoping the judge just won't notice the cited cases have nothing to do with gun rights. Oh, and that states' rights don't, you know, supersede that whole 14th Amendment thing. We'll keep watching this one for you because it could affect a lot of states, not just D.C. Industry News! Henry announced two new rifles with almost nothing new about them. But that's kind of the point with Henry, right? They made a name for themselves with quality reproductions of historic rifles 25 years ago, and they're celebrating their 25th anniversary with engraved limited editions of their classic Lever Action 22 and new original Henry in 4440. MSRP is 1130 and 4000 respectively. I will never understand some people, but apparently some folks like those short barrel long grip shooty boys. I don't know. I, I guess maybe they balance better with a can attached or something. Totes not judging, you do you boo. If you're into that though, you might be excited to know PSA has a new dagger model with a full-sized grip and a 4 inch barrel. It comes standard with a threaded barrel, optic cut, and suppressor height steel sights. Price is $370. HRT is now shipping their ARC belt system. It's extremely lightweight and thin, like David Hogg, but much tougher. The Tegris core is every bit as rigid as a duty belt, but at a fraction of the thickness. The belt sleeves provide an interface between the buckle and the core and are themselves made of super thin, light, laminated laser cut cordura and they provide molly slots all the way up right next to the buckle. You really have to put your hands on it to understand how light and thin it is. Price is $125. Before we get to your moment of zen, I just want to remind you to check out the Bulletproof Workshop hosted by my friend and hero, Jeff Gonzalez. Jeff is a combat veteran, respected instructor, and genuinely one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. The Bulletproof Workshop is about improving human performance and features guests from all walks of life. New episodes every Friday. Today's guest is Executive Vice President of Magpul, Dwayne Liptak. As always, we'll link in the doobly-doo, so why not check out what Jeff's up to when you're finished here. And now, for your moment of zen. By synchronizing the manual of arms to the Earth's rotation, the economy of motion is maintained. I'm out! Toss me a clip! Air covered! Hey friend, do you like pews and pew related things? Do you want to help us keep delivering you pure and good American pew propaganda at the low, low price of free 99 <laughs> We literally couldn't make this show if it weren't for the generous support of TNVC.com. Purveyors of the finest non-GMO night vision devices handcrafted from fine Corinthian leather in the old world style. They also have mounts, lights, training, swag, and all sorts of other 99% cruelty-free gear to make you the bump in the night. And remember, if you aren't subscribed to our channel, you make puppies cry and Captain America is disappointed. I love you.